it's a beautiful Saturday morning sunrise out in the swamp. Well, let me shut the lights off here. Ah, beautiful. Good morning. So the limmer is heading down this cut and going to jump out on the swamp and hit the road down there. The road is right here and it goes down through the tamarack, but the road is not frozen and it's really broke up there and it's pretty soft up in there. So he's trying to stay on high ground as far as he can down in that corner and jump out on it there. And he's got a little crossing down there. It's kind of scary, a little too soft for such a heavy machine. That's a, uh, I don't even know what it weighs. It more, weighs more than 70,000, it might 80,000. Um, but it's pretty, pretty heavy machine to be going on soft, a soft swamp that isn't frozen very well. I suppose I should add that he is, he's going, well, you'll see, there's, there's a strip of aspen and balsam on the other side of that tamarack and, and they're landing it way up over there. They can't skid it across, it's too soft. This is the middle of the road there, the middle of this truck turnaround. See how, how busted up and it's full of water there? Well, this is our road. This is why we can't get back there with pickups. That's This is why we had to drive equipment out half a mile, or I do, from that far block to get fuel every night. So I do a lot of driving with the track machine for nothing. But this is how bad it is. It's not frozen. You see those big chunks? Those are frozen chunks. I, I'm going to try and smash this back into place a little bit this morning so it can freeze. And Dean's up the road trying to cross or get on the swamp up there. See that's just, just pushing right out. She not froze. So I'm trying to smash the road into place. Kind of back up a little bit. You see it? Well, you can't see it, Doug. Trying to pound the ice chunks down into the soil, or if you call it soil. Trying to flatten it out, flatten out the ruts, flatten everything and force water up into it to get it to freeze correctly. You didn't know a Timco was designed to do that, did you? Uh oh, I'm busting her up bad. One place I think uh, hot saw is better than a harvester. If you look at all this understory ash, I gotta cut these little balmy in here. And I think that would be just a pain in the butt for a harvester. So I think that's an example. You know, look at all this understory stuff. It's a pain in the butt for me. But it'd be really a pain in the butt for a harvester. See, I have to cut all them little ma not maple, ash out of the way so I can get out some little balmy. He missed one. Look at that sunset. Well, this is one of those experiments that a male tried. Because aspen grows back so thick. That it chokes itself out and it, you know it's fighting for nutrients and sunlight they they uh contracted dozers to run down just bulldoze over aspen when it was young uh you know maybe when it was 10 15 probably 15 feet tall but you can see where a dozer went there a dozer went there you know it's, they stripped and they left just a few feet of aspen man i wish i was cutting that stuff it's across uh, the cut line and you can see there's no no ribbons or paint or anything it's I'm going completely off GPS 
it's all the same landowners so they don't have it doesn't have to be perfect if I cut a wrong tree it doesn't matter so much but anyway um thought that was kind of neat to show you guys a little frosty last night I scraped off part of the windshield till it thaws out I knew I should have put it in the garage last night wait what garage I'm here after hours at deer climbing over their fence so the cattle don't get out right I gotta go get some parts well you can't even see all that new iron sitting over there oh too bad I broke another rubber on this accumulator arm see when I break a rubber I just pay the $18 some guys pay on it for 18 years oh that was bad how you fix an alternator <laughs> I have a bad alternator I noticed yesterday that my head rotate was was slower than I thought it should be and my grab arms this morning I'm like god they're getting slower than they should be there's something wrong I, oh, I gotta check the voltage and sure enough oh, the old alternator is acting up I got a spare at home. It's not the first time. Well, the alternator's out. I'm gonna head probably my house and get a new one. My my spare. You want a slashing video? Too bad. I gotta go get an alternator. All right, I'll give you a quick one while I'm pulling up here to turn around. What was that? Well, he's slashing maple. You see how ugly our maple is compared to. Old Nutsy's Maple down there in Pennsylvania. I'm at my house and I have a spare alternator. I write on them, new, May of 14 for the Timco. And I keep this one at my house. But this, this pulley is smaller than the new pulley. And you see all this fine debris in there. I gotta use an impact to get that nut off and change this. But it's all this debris in here, this fine dust. It's really hard on alternators. Well, I ran to town and tested the alternator. It worked. The old alternator did not. I have an exciter wire somewhere missing. Well, I just drove through a, a bad spot that finally seems to be freezing. We can drive our pickups through it now. And Jeff came down today and did a little dozer work to try to level it out. There's some of his piles. <laughs> Be careful not to run into the slasher. So yeah, the road the road is uh, getting some attention and it's kind of coming around now. Well, this stretch here was soft before too, and it's finally firmed up enough. Obviously, we got the loader across it. There's one of Skidder Kev's outhouses. <laughs> with no walls, no privacy. <laughs> there you go, Kev. Well, there's a beautiful moon, full moon out tonight. Hope it cools down to freeze our road. Hey, I don't know when I'm going to get up another video or what my plan is here, but if I don't get one up after this, I uh, hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Enjoy your time with family and just getting the holiday spirit, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great holiday season.